if extrajudicial killings were not on the tape, and at one level, I will go into those matters. That is why they reported on it, because extrajudicial killings were strong on the tape. No one, about three of them. And that is why we took the quality decision that by reason of national security implications, let's have in-camera hearing regarding the extrajudicial killings. So the extrajudicial killing is not my invention. They were on the tape. And according to the mandate you gave us, and let me read it, um, ascertain the veracity or otherwise of the leak tape. Yes? Yes. And then also, um, um, investigate any other matter contained in the audio recording. And on the, in the audio recording were three levels of extrajudicial killings. One of them is the one at the Mangu tree. Now, my problem is this. My problem is this. If this honorable, if, if, if this uh, um, uh, uh, distinguished speaker should invite us to go into matters on the tape, and on the tape are issues of extrajudicial killing, and somebody rises to you, that somebody rises to the committee that I want to come and testify on the matter, even if you said it is hearsay at the level of Asari. It was testified, and the lawyer of Asari also confirmed that Jelly, Jelly, who is supposed to be the, the witness, the eyewitness, and said he took photographs of those who were killed before they were shot, and the rest of it is alive. And then he came to my office, and he said we should record him concerning the extrajudicial killing matters, and the committee of parliament should say, we will not go into the issues of the uh, 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 extrajudicial killing. And it was not just, it was not just all the members who said so, three of them said so, that the issue of investigating the extrajudicial killing is inconsequential to them. The what were we sitting there for? That you called us, yes, yes, you called us to cover the evidence.